All right, everybody, time for a new painting here. I'm super stoked. I finished up my Sasuke one not too long ago. You can check that time lapse video out here. Um, I had this idea a while back, and I'm really, really stoked to get work on it. First, going to lay down the base drawing of the plane, and then get painting on the background, and then work on the foreground, and then cover the foreground with some more, well, I would say background, but tech class foreground. Let's get into it. Hope you enjoy it. I will be using a reference for the airplane just off of Google and then background I'm just gonna create that myself here we go gonna play some good vibes in the background So I moved back down to my seated drawing table here and went with this pretty much like a, I don't know exact terminology, but just basically like a chisel style. Good focus here, I'll show you all the number on it. Quarter inch angle shader acrylic. Robert Simmons is the brand. That's what the tip looks like there. Very good though for coming around. I'm done now. It was a lot sloppier around. I went in and kind of you know shape it up a good bit more so I get more of a accurate uh, look of how you know the exact shape of the plane which it will change when I come back and actually paint the plane in and you know, I'm at to come back and make you know minor adjustments here and there but that's the basic overall shape now I'm gonna start uh, working in the background the clouds and whatnot and the back background then I believe I'll start working on the plane and then some foreground clouds and that'll be it probably gonna move back to my easel now all right everybody time for day number three on this get some progress going on the clouds I'm gonna be using this pewter gray this jet black these are all acrylic and then this two blue um for like a bat black blue and gray cloud scene i'm probably going to put the light source of the moon here so maybe come back and put some you know lighter accents on the cloud um, i'm not going off any kind of photo reference so i'm um, just going to start putting you know paint on the canvas and go from there everybody got all the clouds done how I like them gonna start putting down the base coat on the plane here it's gonna be a white plane but I'm gonna have to use gray since it's you know a nighttime scene I'm gonna be using this dolphin gray that'll focus the dolphin gray it's the lightest gray I have I'm gonna be using the same uh, quarter inch angle shader Chisel brush is what I call it. Alright, that's gonna be it for tonight. Gonna have to go back over, put multiple layers over it. I don't wanna do it all in because I'll kill some of the lines. I need to get a ruler, straighten those up as well, like the, the uh, windows. 
I just freehanded that so it's a little bit bowed. I didn't try to make it perfect when I freehanded, I'm just kind of getting the idea down. Alright everybody, time to paint some more. As you see here, I went and painted these two little thruster things here. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Just faded them on up in there. Now as you see, the base gray is different from this. This was, I forget, I think the pewter gray. As you can see, it's a little bit different color. So what, this is when I, I, went, I went back to granite, the matte. I covered over the uh, dolphin gray because it was a uh, gloss. I didn't want the gloss. So instead of using this pewter gray like I was and fading it up to this, I'm just using this and then I'm going to use black. There's me as a baby and my mama holding me. <laughs> mama Mia. So I'm uh, just using black, you know, and fading it from black to this, you know, the pewter gray here. So I'm going to go for it tonight. It's already 1210. I want to stay up too late. I'm going to be getting up early, like 8.15, so I don't want to stay up too late, but I want to make progress on this, so tonight, the goal of the now is just the wing there. Alright, so I spent one hour, and this is what I accomplished. I was also, At first, I was feeling like, damn, I didn't accomplish anything, but I, this doesn't actually look like this on this camera. Or maybe it looks different on the computer screen. Um... But I did accomplish something because I, I just started painting, I think, like, early last year, either late the year before or something. So, I honestly hadn't been painting too, too long, so I'm still learning. Um, and I don't like the way this looks for this. And this is more on the right track here. Let me get the lighting a little bit. Let's see what it more so would look like. This is more so on the right track where it fades more naturally as opposed to that where it's just clear like... And I'm actually okay with those little thruster things on the bottom, but that wing is not okay. Um, the way I'm mixing the paint just kept layering on top and on top and on top of each other. It was kind of getting like gummy, and it also wouldn't let me do straight lines because it was getting so gummy and thick that it, it wasn't letting the brush lay flat down on the canvas because it was gumming up in certain places. As you can see here, if it'll focus. Yeah, we did for a second. Here, how it's a little bit raised. You can see how it looks kind of gummy looking, if y'all know what I mean. It's acrylic, and I just kept doing it on top. I guess it was drying a little bit, and I was wetting it with new paint. So I learned not to do that as well, but um, I know what I need to do, basically. Kind of come back with this style here. Do the you know under base, and then come back a little bit lighter shade, touch it, and then I'm going to come back. I know I'm going to put like a highlight on top. But um, So again, if you're painting, if you're new to painting, whatever, or I guess if you're experienced right now this was like it feels like at first I was like wow I literally just spent a whole hour got no progress done on the actual painting but I did because you know I made the mistakes and I learned now I know from this point going on and I know now with this painting you know what I'm saying going forward with this painting and any other painting now you know this technique really doesn't work and now I don't do this with the paint I need to mix it differently with the paint and you know what I'm saying? I'm actually, it's a learning process, just like anything else. So, um, you know, I've always heard, like, from very successful people, basically, if you're not making, making mistakes, you're not doing anything worth doing, or, like, basically, I don't know the exact quote I've heard. I've heard different variations of the quote. But, basically, it's good to be making mistakes, because, you know what I'm saying, doing anything new, naturally, you're going to make mistakes at things. Just doing anything in life. So, you know, and that that's progress. You make the mistakes. Like, I, you know, I just spent an hour there and made no progress technically on the drawing but I did because now I learned hey these two things don't work I need to do it like this I don't need to do this I need to make sure I'm doing this this and this that's going to make me better moving forward if you know I apply that and keep that positive mindset and then you know instead of just getting pissed yeah, I can't do it and throw it to the side you know what I'm saying you keep the positive mindset mm, okay I just sat here an hour didn't see anything in that outcome I wanted how can I take that you know what can I learn from that well I learned I don't like the way this looks. I need to blend it better like this. I don't need to let the paint sit. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So I always keep a positive outlook. And it's a journey. Just a, a micro journey inside the macro journey of life. Anyway, hop in the shower. I'm really stoked. Like I'm just mm, so freaking stoked to keep painting on this thing now. Because I sat here an hour. And now I know what I need to do to make it look right. Like I just want to freaking get it. But I need to go to bed. It's freaking 124. I'm getting up at like 8.15. So... I'm about to hop in the shower, finish up eating, go to bed.
laying down the base coat of gray basically the whole plane now I gotta go back and change these colors to a little bit lighter or at least this here this side can be a little bit darker since it's on this side of the plane all right another session I think I worked about an hour on it I'm gonna go back and do these ones I don't like the way this shadow looks here it's a little bit too thick should have did it like this one where I painted the wing then came back put the shadow on it like these and that came out a lot better and that way got the wing and all these colors you know are subject to change if I don't think it pieces together well but color that I've got to touch that up a little bit color this dark piece this dark piece dark around here they're still drying and then got the back of the wing there you know I'm gonna try to fade it you know because and we're even gonna come up with a highlight on the tips here tip there maybe up here on oh, the sides a little bit lighter but this side naturally will be darker because there's no light shining on it and this side's gonna be a little bit darker but the top slight bit darker from that which it should be but i'm just gonna keep piecing it together and what i've learned with the art there's basically no failure you just keep learning and this piece right here is going to be completely black a little piece hanging off the bottom come back and put a complete black over that shadow under there one of those little thruster things something I've, I've learned about art though is even if like i've messed up multiple times on this but it doesn't ultimately like it still ends up in success if you just keep going and keep using your imagination and keep you know trying to make it better in the end you know it still works out even so kind of like a metaphor for life really anyway i'll probably start recording some soon instead of just keep doing these little updates which i was thinking like i'll record more when i start drawing more which drawing wise i'll just be drawing like the windows a little light um, and little lines on the wings and stuff but so really this ain't gonna be like a whole whole lot of detail too 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 much type stuff other than that kind of stuff but not as much as uh i guess i was like thinking it would be i gotta do some details on like the little thruster like these little jet engine things but i don't know i'm just it's just this is not like i was i guess imagined it was going to be painting and i was thinking like oh i'll show up more i'm doing a lot more of this kind of stuff but Hell, the, what I just majority did, just all this filling in big colors is majority of what it's going to be. So I'll start uh, recording some next time. Here's how we're looking at through another day. I gotta go back because I ran out of paint. Uh, I've learned basically every new color I do, I pretty much need to mix a whole new palette full of a little dripper full of paint just to get that color instead of using the color that's left over because that's what happens and run out. I don't need to come back and touch that up. And you see there's a couple spots and it needs to be fixed up here too. I just completely run out. But uh very happy with how the colors are coming along. Uh, start adding more shadows after I get this color and then touch that up I need to go and get that touch that up and we'll start working on the details Here's like a little thing sticking up on them, so kind of worked on that. Then added the drop shadow to the side, and then worked on this one as well. And then painted this as well, still drying. All right, everybody. So, what we're actually getting to here, why you see me you know, pulling on this other piece of paper here and painting, you know, what this is black and what am I doing here? So essentially, if I've ever used watercolor, it was when I was a kid, essentially. So I basically never used watercolor uh, and I've never tried to do basically a light. So y'all kept seeing, I kept putting, I added something, I'm going to add something new than I originally was planning to add. And that's the light. So what I did instead of being like my first time trying 
to do a light effect, be on the actual canvas, I just pulled out, you know, a piece of paper and essentially just did the practice on there. Once I feel like I got the hang of it good, you know, then I actually moved it to the canvas. So uh, I advise y'all do that. If it's the first time trying something, don't try it on your main piece. You know what I'm saying? Do a practice on something else, a scrap piece, then move to your main piece. All right, so I've got the sketches down, base sketch down here for the windows. So now it's time to add paint. They're pretty rough. I didn't try to do them 100% perfect, but just kind of get a, a, you know, a good line there. I can straighten them up with the paint as I go. Hoping to God I don't have anything left over. Or if I do, hoping that the eraser will remove it and not mess up the paint. So you have to come up here and fix this. Something dropped on it, and, but that, that should be an easy fix there. That will be an easy fix there. All right, everybody just got done painting for the night. I don't think y'all seen the uh, windows. I've just got them done. I got to hold my camera weird because the screen keeps cutting off weird. But I just added, you see, like a the drop shadow, like to the window sill there, the window sill of the plane windows. So just extra details. I like doing stuff like that. I don't. I just. Instead of just putting a black blob, I got to come back. I guess my hand rubbed there, set so that little tiny dot on the light there. Right there, got to fix that. And then I guess I can grab all my painting here uh, up here in this cloud. Tiny, tiny little scratch. That one will be, you know, should be a really quick fix there. Pop that one. Uh, hoping this one is a quick fix as well. And that will be it, my people. That will be it. So, finish those touches up. Uh, probably pop the signature here or here. I'm thinking here as of right now. It's a little bit more open here. Pop it here with the logo, the date, all that good stuff. And uh, come back with some, you know, get some better pictures. Maybe some outside stuff on the easel for the last little montage of the painting here. So, uh, keep watching the end of the video. If you would, see the complete final product. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Please like the video if you are, it really helps. Alright everybody, night flight is officially done. Let's take a look at it. Honestly, this one's saturating. It's blowing this one out for some reason. It's fading. That one fades just like these do. I think just the way the, the sun's hitting it harder right there, and it's not. It won't pick up that it's actually fading out for some reason. It looks completely different in person.